Good morning, Dina. Hi. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Ready? Salute. Good morning, Denner High School. I'm Chloe Lum. And I'm Alondra Martinez, and this is KYOT Morning News. Esler of the Day. Number two, responsible self-directed learning. 2.3 employs various strategies in the agencies of learning which will enable him or her to be a lifelong assessor of knowledge and effective problem solver. E-Cycle. The Denner Ed Foundation's E-Cycle is tomorrow, Saturday, April 25th, 9 a.m. to noon, in the school high school parking lot. Reminder for all freshmen, sophomores, and juniors. Class elections for next year will be due on Friday, May 1st. Key Club. There will be a Key Club meeting on Monday during lunch in the library. Dodgeball. The leadership class will be hosting the annual dodgeball tournament on Friday, May 8th in the high school gym. If you are interested in participating, you will need a team of eight players and will need to fill out the application in the office and turn in $10 per player. We hope to see you there. Attention students, are you interested in yearbook? What about journalism? If you would like to participate, or be part of either staff, be sure to pick up an application in the office or from Ms. Schuchterman. Applications are due Friday, May 1st. Attention seniors attending the University of California campus in the fall. The UC will be administering the analytical writing placement exam on Saturday, May 9th to students who have been admitted and have not satisfied the requirements. Please see Mr. Edwards for additional information. If you are part of the living dead during every 15 minutes and would like to keep your tombstone, please see Ms. Hilton. If you do not want to keep your tombstone, please return it to Mrs. Hilton. If you were part of the living dead during every 15 minutes, please pick up your pictures from Mrs. Hilton. Attention juniors and seniors. Just a reminder, the community service hours are due next Friday, May 1st. Please turn in your paperwork to the office. Also, please see Mr. Edwards if you already have your academic Block D patch. Attention seniors. There's a scholarship opportunity for any senior attending Cal Poly in the fall. Please see Mr. Edwards for more information. Student board member. If you are interested in being the next student board member alternate for next year, applications are in the office. Please turn to Ms. Hilton before Friday, May 1st. Attention football players. There will be a meeting immediately after school on Monday in room 402 to discuss spring football and the upcoming season. Today's games. Tennis at Delhi, 3.30 p.m. And now here's Sam with the weather. This week will start out with an 80% chance of rain, but will gradually become warmer. We will have a high of 79 on Sunday and an average low of 50 degrees throughout the week. Later this week, we'll have highs in the 80s with abundant sunshine. On Tuesday, there will be a new high of 90 degrees. Expect nice spring weather. Man, I wish it would rain more. Really? I like the sun. And now here's Ulyssa with the feature video. On Thursday, April 4th, Monique Hampton from TID came to deliver the award of third place to Miss Olivas' AP Spanish class for their video about the importance of planting shade trees. Given this wonderful $1,000 check to Mr. Delworth for his... <laughs> So I was the editor for the video project and so that means that I did all of the um, computer work and I wrote this script with a couple of the other students in the class and it went really well. Um, now it's on YouTube for TID so that's really cool so everyone can see it. Um, it was just a really fun project overall and then we got, we all got paid so I, we all each got money and then we got money for the school and for our Spanish program so that was really exciting. Congrats, AP Spanish. Your hard work paid off. Now back to Chloe and Alondra in the studio. All right, well, thank you, TID, for this wonderful gift. Congratulations to the Spanish class on their win. And now, here's Joel with another feature video. On April 16th, Denaire High School underwent its Every 15 Minutes program, which happens every four years. Its intention is to simulate for students the emotional and physical effects that result in the aftermath of drinking and driving. Sophomore Lexi Brantley explains her experience with the program and how this simulation of a real-life situation affected her. Every 15 minutes was an emotional day for me because my sister and my cousin were both involved in it and I didn't have any idea that they were going to be dying that day. Leadership advisor Mrs. Hilton worked very hard to make this program happen. After working all year on it, she was very happy with the outcome. 
I was really proud of the Every 15 Minutes program this year. I think that our students took it seriously. I think it was extremely impactful. Um, it ended up being an extremely emotional two days for all of our students that were a part of our living dead, as well as the students that were here on campus. Um, I think it was a huge success. I know that we had a lot of community support. That's what led to this uh, huge success. Um, I thought it was a pretty awesome experience, and I'm excited to um, see what happens for you years from now and we get to do it again. Overall, we hope this experience was eye-opening for many students and that it showed them that drinking and driving will always have bad consequences. Back to you, Chloe and Alondra. That was a really emotional experience. I know, it was a great impact on all the students. I'm Alondra Martinez. And I'm Chloe Lum. And this has been KYOT Morning News. Now here's Jin E with the birthdays. Today's birthday is Garrett Davis. Next week on Wednesday will be Tori Eddy's birthday. Best birthday wishes to you all.